thank you for joining Wars of the Roses, and in this video, we'll be discussing the crime of vaccination. An article by Manly P. Hall, taken from the All CNI, Volume 2, Number 2, December 1923. The crime of vaccination. How much longer will people have to pay to have smallpox? is the problem confronting a large number of people. They send their children to the public school and are forced to allow a pedigreed concept to pump smallpox into them under the refined heading of vaccination. It has been proven conclusively that a great train of ills in body and in spirit follow after vaccination. Many vaccinated people have succumbed to smallpox, while many exposed to it have not taken it, although unvaccinated. The karmic debt for vaccination is twofold. First, to our bodies, which we deliberately defile with smallpox serum and vaccine. Secondly, to the animal who goes through untold suffering and is itself given smallpox in order that from the ulcers, the drops of vaccine may be extracted and pumped into us. The occultist is fighting tooth and nail to abolish vaccination and supplement it with good common sense. Smallpox is primarily a filth disease. And if people would live right, bathe right, and eat right, they would not get it. For the healthy body is perfectly capable of taking care of its germs. We look forward with great hopes to the day when we will remove from the fair name of our race the blemish, mental and physical, the swollen glands, the tonsil trouble, the nervousness and debility, the rashes and outbreaks, not a small percent of which can be traced to vaccine, which kills the best in us in order to save the rest. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to share, like, subscribe and comment. And if you can, please consider donating to Wars of the Rosies. Links to PayPal and Patreon are in the description. Thank you so very much.